Welcome back. Well, more than 100 trunks full of candy, a haunted bus, pumpkin patch, and more, all waiting for your kids this Saturday at the old Libby High School site on Western Avenue in South Toledo. Claire and Kevin here from Lucas County Children's Services with what this excitement is all about. It's Halloween season. Kids are getting excited about trick-or-treating. Can you kind of describe what's going on this weekend? I was reading over it, and it sounds like a fun event. Well, we wanted to provide a safe trick-or-treating uh, opportunity for children in the south end of Toledo there. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun things planned besides the 100 trunks. We also have a lot of activities, face painting, and you know, just lots of fun plans. So there's 100 trunks all yes. giving out free candy, just to clarify. Right. I want to add, we're also giving out toothbrushes. Toothbrush. So if you, you know, <laughs> you we're trying to balance it. And also, you know, just maybe little toys and things like that. It's, it's, but it's mostly candy, but fun. yeah. So what are some of the benefits of doing this kind of during the afternoon? You said it's 12 to 2, right, on Saturday? Right, because, you know, obviously we expect it all ages, mm -hmm. and it's safe. We have it cordoned off. You don't have to worry about traffic or, you know, your child. You know, at night you always worry about that as a yeah. parent. So it's safe and fun, and, uh, yeah, exactly. that's a advantage of it. And yeah. part of that is a safe daytime trick-or-treat right. opportunity, both for the kids that are in the care and custody of Lucas County Children's Services, but because of friends and, and friends of LCCS and their big efforts, it's an opportunity to do a community service uh, in the Old South End and in that neighborhood and, and that sort of thing as well for the kids that live It there. is. I'm sure it'll bring a lot of smiles to their faces and also the parents gives them a little peace of mind knowing that it's a safe trick-or-treating environment. Also better weather on Saturday afternoon right, for sure. We think we're going to get it in before the rain comes yeah, in, but I you would know better, right? So, so we're relying on so you. So how long has this been going on for? Is it sort of a yearly tradition? That this you is know? our fifth year it that is. we're doing this, year. but you know it's gotten bigger and better every year that we've done it. That's exciting. So, That's yeah. exciting. So it's open to any kids who want to come or? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So open to the right. entire Toledo public. If you have kids who want to right. trick or treat, you know, Saturday. 12 to 2. 12 to 2. Okay. okay, sounds good. And once again, the information there is up on the screen. Um, any other information that you want to share with, with the public about this event? It sounds like a really, really great mm -hmm. trick or treating opportunity. Just want to point out that this is all volunteer, all donor. There are 50 right. community partners that have either donated to the effort or will be bringing a trunk. Mm -hmm. It's a, just a great community outreach event on a part of a lot of businesses, nonprofits, and others who are helping us. That's really great. So all 100 of those trunks, all the people passing out candy, those are all volunteers who are sharing their time to give these kids an opportunity to trick or treat. Absolutely. Some Libby alumni, Cornerstone Church, and a lot of others have been big parts of this. Okay, and why is Lucas County Children's Services presenting this event? What's the connection? There? This is a partnership between us and friends, and it started off as a way for us to do it for the kids that are in the care and custody mm -hmm. of Lucas County Children's Services. And part of Claire's mission and her group is to ensure that these kids have as normal a childhood as possible, and what better way than to allow them to go trick-or-treating in costume. They have been a fantastic partner with this. That sounds like a really great event. Saturday noon to 2, be sure to go out, get some free candy, trick-or-treat while the weather's still nice. <laughs> because uh, by Saturday evening, yeah, it's going to be a little bit rainy. So thanks so much for coming in. Sounds like a really great event and hope to see many folks there. While well, you're watching Thank Toledo's you. only